What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to draw in perspective. Now there are many ways to draw in perspective but for this video I'm going to show you how to draw in two point perspective and I'll explain why in a minute but first I'm going to explain what perspective is. Perspective drawing is a technique used to represent three dimensional images on a two dimensional plane. And that may not make sense to you now but Watch the rest of the video so you can get a clear understanding of what I'm talking about. So in perspective, you can draw it in one point perspective, two point, and three point. For this video, I'm going to show you how to draw in two point perspective. And what does that mean? So first, I'm going to take my ruler here. And you're going to need a ruler for this video too. I'm using a 12 inch and also a 6 inch. So when... So the first step in drawing a perspective, you're going to need a horizon line, a line that goes straight across the paper. So a horizon line does this, vertical lines do this. You need a horizon line. So at some point in the video, we're going to end up drawing a vertical line of some sort to help us draw things. But for now, we're just going to draw a horizon line and we're going to make that all across the paper. So right here is a 9 by 12 paper. I'm using... <coughs> And for the actual image, I'm going to use a 8.5 by 5.5 paper to show you guys that when you're drawing in perspective traditionally, your vanishing points may go off the paper a little bit. So that way your final drawing will just be on this small sheet of paper here. Again, with our uh, points, these are actually called our vanishing points because when you're finished drawing everything in perspective, you're going to erase these points later. So I'm just going to draw these. Actually, I'm going to grab a marker. Yeah, even though we, even though I said we'll be erasing them later, I'm just going to leave those there just in case I end up erasing it at some point. But I won't because I did it in marker. Okay, so now we're going to take our smaller ruler and I'm just going to map out whichever place I want the vertical line to be. So you could have it in the middle or you could have it like right over here depending on what you're drawing. So you could have buildings coming from here to this vanishing point and then the other part coming towards the other vanishing point. But let's just draw it like like three quarters towards these, this other side of the paper. So I'm just going to draw a line. I can't draw. Just like this. And when you're doing, and when you're drawing buildings in perspective, we're actually going to be drawing a few buildings, by the way. So we can map out the height, which will be like right around here because the tape will be right there. I guess we'll get to that when we get further into the video. But for now, you're going to need a horizontal and a vertical line. And now comes the easy part where we can basically connect the lines. So we're basically connecting this point to the maximum height where we want to add the building. So all we got to do is line up the ruler. And just draw a line here from there. It's like connect the dots. And then do the same thing down here. Where we're... This is actually the ground level. And then do the same thing. And then the same thing on the other side. And then also, this may be a little bit hard. But the reason why I say it's hard is because... Since we're drawing buildings, we're going to need to include this same vertical line here and there. And sometimes you'll end up making it like a little bit slanted. But in some cases, that's okay. But since we're drawing buildings, they got to be the same, like the same angle as this vertical line here. So, and they can be placed anywhere. Like however you want, however wide you want to make the buildings, it doesn't really matter. But they just have to be straight vertical lines. So I'm just going to draw a few like here and there, like here's one building and then another. And then it's all going to stop right here at this other vertical line. And then that's the other part of this building. And I'm just going to make one more over here since this area over here is kind of like smaller than the one over here. And then now that we got all those in place, we can go on with our pencil, with our actual drawing pencil, and draw the buildings in place, which should be no problem since we're kind of doing the, our same step again.
And then now comes a sort of complicated part. So now that we got uh, most of the buildings drawn, we're, we're gonna make the rest of these buildings kind of three dimensional. So that way, when you see a building right here, you're gonna wanna draw a line here, but that's where this other vanishing point comes in place. So we're gonna take our long ruler and connect this vanishing point over here to this spot up here. That way we won't end up drawing this line anywhere or at any angle. That way it'll kind of line up with the vanishing point that we have on this side. And uh, same thing on this other building. And then the same concepts apply to like the ground level. And then now that we got basically the buildings in place, we can add some details if we want, but I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. And then I'm gonna just add some extra stuff towards the actual background or the actual scene here. Cause since these are buildings, they should come with like a sidewalk. So since we got this vertical line here, we I know where to stop. So we can come off of this point, make a sidewalk. Let's repeat that process on the other side. And then also giving it some depth. Like so. And then the rest of that can be kind of like a street. So I'm just gonna add another sidewalk on the other side by also using the vanishing point that I have on that side. So we're pretty much done here. So this is what the drawing looks like without the vanishing points. And that's how you draw in one two point perspective. If you liked the video and you find it useful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in the next video.